Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Can't believe another week's passed already and can't wait till we all can meet together again, get back to um, Christ Church Annerley and be having our teas and coffees and everything together and doing our Bible studies. Oh, by the way, Zoom this afternoon at three o'clock if you can make it. We really hope you can make it. And if anyone can't do Zoom who wants to have like a face-to-face -face chat, we can do um, either a messenger chat or... Um, a WhatsApp chat, just let us know. Just send us a, a, a personal message to me, Paul or Daryl, and we'll fix a time and a day where we can um, just have a, a chat with you face to face via one of those other um, mm -hmm. means. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you today. Um, basically, God led me to Psalm 37, verses 23 to 24, which I'll read at the end. And he said to me, it's like another film analogy from Harry Potter where Harry Potter has to get certain information from a certain tutor and he doesn't know how on earth he's going to get this information out of him. And so what he does in the end mm -hmm. is he remembers he's got this liquid luck vial of potion that he won and he has to take the liquid luck, also called Felix Felicis, mm -hmm. and... Um, he takes it and it means that whatever he does, it won't go wrong. Whatever he says, it won't go wrong. Wherever he goes, it's not the wrong path. And basically he, he takes this and he manages to achieve what he needed to achieve with liquid luck. Now, I'm not saying that the Holy Spirit is liquid luck, but he gave me this analogy anyway. Um, but the Holy Spirit is living inside of us and he is working all things in us according to what he wants us to be doing. I'm not saying that, that you can sin and that's right or anything like that, so don't get me wrong. Um, I was just wondering, are you worrying too much? Are you striving to please God? I know I strive to please God a lot and I, I just want to be doing the right things and saying the right things. Well, we shouldn't need to strive. We just need to relax into what God has for us and, and the things that he wants us to say and do. Um, Romans 8 verse 28 says, All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So he's literally, he guides us, he convicts us, he leads us and we, we just don't need to be worrying. If you, if you stumble... God will lift you up again. Um, by stumble, I mean like if, you, if you've fallen into a sin, that you just need to come to God again and say sorry, and he will lift you up because he loves you. You're his children. It's like if your child is trying to learn to ride a bike, what do you do if they fall off? You get them up again. You help them up. You put them back on the bike. You set them going again. And it's the same with God. He's our loving father. He wants the best for us. He's pleased with us. He loves the efforts that we make for him. Um, do you commit every day to God? So at the beginning of every day, just say, Lord, this is your day. Thank you for this day. Lord, use me how you want to use me. Show me what to say to people and where to go. So long as you're committing everything to God, you, you can't go wrong with the Holy Spirit. And I want you to stop right now. And I want you to check. Is your heart running after God today? And is your heart running after God's ways? Are you trying to live to please him? As long as you're trying to live to please him, that's the main thing. That's all he's after. Like David, um, David the king, he, he messed up. He messed up big time, but his heart was right towards God. He wanted to be righteous. He did fall into sin, but God set him back on the right path again. So don't worry. If you're if you know that you're you are following after God and you can check that box, then just don't worry. And if your answer is no, my I'm not running after God today, then you've got a chance right now to just put it right with God, just sit down for two minutes and just say, Lord, I'm sorry. I know your ways are the best ways. I know you love me, you want the best for me. And just, just confess it to God right now and say, God, give me a heart that's running after you. Give me a heart that wants to follow after you. 
give me a heart that loves you wholly and totally. So I'm just going to finish now and I'm going to read that psalm, uh, the, the verse from the psalm, and it's from the Passion Translation. So it's kind of, it's quite an easy version to, to understand. And this is what it says. The steps of the God pursuing ones follow firmly in the footsteps of the Lord and God delights in every step they take to follow him. If they stumble badly, they will still survive for the Lord lifts them up with his hands. And that's my word for you today. That was from Psalm 37, verse 23 to 24. Read it for yourselves. You can be happy and be at peace because he's, he's watching over the way you walk and what you say and he just loves you. So come back to him if you've not been with him and he loves you very much. I um, hope to see you later on Zoom.